Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we are going to discuss double rotation. The next type of double rotation is nothing but double right left rotation. So, first we have to perform a right rotation followed by left rotation. Simply we will call it as RL rotation. Okay. Why we need to perform rotation? AVL tree is nothing but a balanced binary search tree or height balanced binary search tree. And here in AVL tree, we have to maintain a balance factor. If the balance factor of the AVL tree is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense, the tree is a balanced one. Suppose if it is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense, the tree will be an unbalanced one. So, whenever you are performing insertion into an AVL tree, that time the tree may be converted into an unbalanced one. Okay, so the balance factor may be plus 2 or minus 2, we will get it after insertion. So, that time to convert an unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, we have to perform a rotation. Already we have discussed that there are four types of rotations. Under single rotation, single right rotation and single left rotation. Under double rotation, double left right rotation and double right left rotation. Already we have discussed a single left rotation and single right rotation and a double left right rotation. Okay. So now in this session we are going to discuss double right left rotation. And this double right left rotation in short we will call it as oral rotation. And it is a combination of two rotation. First we have to perform a right rotation of the right subtree. So this is the right subtree. Right rotation of the right subtree of the root R followed by left rotation of the new tree rooted at R. So, first we have to perform a right rotation, then we have to perform a left rotation. Okay, that is RL rotation. So, here if you are considering in the sense, root node is 1 and when you are inserting a new node 3, after insertion check the balance factor. Balance factor for 3 is 0. No left and right subtree for leaf node balance factor will be 0. And for this root node if you are considering, Number of left subtree is 0 minus number of right subtree is 1. 0 minus 1, it is minus 1. So, here it is 0 and minus 1 only. So, it is balanced working. Okay. Now, when I am inserting a new key into the right subtree, this is the right subtree of the left child. As a left child or, or in the left child if you are performing new insertion in the sense. That is, left child I am inserting if I am performing a new insertion into the right subtree of the left child. Previously, before insertion, balance factor of the root is minus 1. Now, after insertion, we will check the balance factor. So, balance factor for this node is 0 and balance factor for 3 is 1 minus 0. So, here we will get it as plus 1. And balance factor for 1 is left subtree completely nil. So, 0 minus right subtree 2. 0 minus 2, here you will get it as balance factor is minus 2. Now the tree is unbalanced. Okay. So how we will convert it into a balanced one? First we have to perform right rotation followed by left rotation. So for these two nodes pointing here where the new insertion happens, here we have to perform a right rotation. And if you are performing a right rotation in the sense, we will get the new tree as 2 will occupy here. See if you are performing a right rotation here, 2 will go here. 3 will become the right child of 2. So, whenever you are performing rotation, you have to check the binary search tree condition also. See here, if you are after performing the rotation, that is single right rotation here, the binary search tree condition, it should not affect. So, it is a binary search tree only. So, after performing R rotation, the tree will look like this. Then, we have to perform L rotation here, pointing to the root. And if you are performing a L rotation, R rotation followed by L rotation. First we have to perform R rotation followed by L rotation in the sense. If you are rotating here in the sense, 2 will become the root node. 1 will be the left child of 2. 3 will become its right child. Now if you are checking the balance factor, balance factor will be 0 only for all the nodes. It is balanced only. This is a ABL. Okay. So example. Here this is the root node. And this is the right subtree of this root node. So, right subtree if you are considering right child is C and its grandchild is G. Okay. And T1 is the left child of R and T2 is the left child of G. T3 is the right child of G and T4 is the right child of C. Okay. Now, if you are considering this tree in the sense, 
it is a balanced one before insertion it is a balanced one now if you are inserting a new node into the right subtree this is the right subtree see this whole thing is right subtree if you are inserting a new node into the right subtree of the left child okay so left child here i am performing any insertion here in the sense that time the tree may be an unbalanced one okay so here either i am inserting under t2 or t3 that is right subtree of the left child if i am performing any insertion here in the sense that time if the tree is unbalanced in the sense here we have to perform or l rotation okay so here first we have to perform a right rotation okay so right rotation here we have to perform to this side so if i am performing a right rotation here in the sense what will happen now g goes here see after performing rotation g goes to its root for the subtree okay so g goes to its root and c will be the right child and its right child is t4 only that will be there as it is and the left subtree of g as it is it will be there that is t2 will be there and if you are performing new insertion that will be there okay and what happens to the right subtree of g in the sense that will be attached as a left subtree of c okay that is t3 will be here and if you are performing new insertion here that will be there okay and after performing a single right rotation the tree will be changed like this and root node will be as it is root node is r and its left child is t1 it is as it is this is the new tree you will get it after performing right rotation now also tree is unbalanced only okay next we have to perform a left rotation right rotation followed by left rotation so if you are performing a left rotation in the sense here g will become the root node pointing to or and g we have to perform a left rotation okay so now g will become the root node and the right subtree of g will be as it is what is the right subtree of g that is c and t3 is there and new insertion is here and t4 will be as it is okay and r will become its left child if you are performing a l rotation here in the sense r will become the left child of g and its left child will be as it is that is t1 will be here only and what happens to this left subtree of g in the sense that will be attached as a right subtree to r after performing this l insertion the left subtree of g will be attached as a right subtree of r so now this subtree will occupy as a right child or right subtree of r now t2 will be here and this is the new node here we will get it now if you are checking the balance factor for this new tree in the sense it is a balanced one okay so now g is the root node r is the left subtree and c is the right subtree okay so this is nothing but or l rotation first we have to perform a right rotation pointing to g and c and then we have to perform a left rotation pointing to g and r now we will get a balanced tree and this is a abl tree see here here we have to perform a right rotation if you are performing right rotation g will becomes root node c and t4 will be the right child of g and the left child or left is or left subtree of g will be as it is and the right subtree of g will be attached as a left subtree to c that is t3 and new node will be attached as a left subtree to c okay this is r rotation now if you are performing l rotation in the sense g will becomes the root node and r will be the left subtree and what is the left subtree of g that will be attached as a right subtree of r so this is r l rotation double rotation or double right left rotation and this is a new tree we will get it and this tree is a balanced one and now this is a abl tree abl tree is a height balanced binary search tree so here balance factor we need to preserve it should be 0 plus 1 or minus 1 in any of this case the abl tree is balanced one suppose if you are performing any new insertion and if the balance factor is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense 
the abl tree is unbalanced so to, to convert a unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one we have to perform a rotation okay there are four types of rotations single right rotation single left rotation double left right rotation and double right left rotation all these things we have discussed with example i think now we have better understand the basic concepts of abl tree but sometimes some people they may get confused in these rotations how to perform these rotations so this rotations we will discuss further in detail with example thank you for watching this video